Difference between Christians and Muslims Christians and Muslims are different in many ways. Christians follow Christianity while Muslims follow Islam. Christians and Muslims also have different supreme beings that they worship. Christians worship God while the Muslims worship Allah. Another difference between these two religious followers is their place of worship. While Muslims praise and worship their God in the mosque, Christians, on the other hand, worship their God in the church. The Christians and the Muslims also have a different belief when it comes to the person that they consider as their savior and prophet. While Christians have Jesus as their savior, the Muslims, on the other hand, have Muhammad as their prophet. As for their preachers, Christians have their priests while the Muslims have their Imam. The Christians and Muslims have a different symbol in their religions as well. For Muslims, they have the crescent and the star while the Christians have the cross. The Christians and Muslims also have differences in the scriptures that they base their faith upon. Christians follow the Bible while Muslims follow the Quran. Christians and Muslims have differences when it comes to their sub-religions as well. Although both Christians and Muslims have various sectors or sub-religions which make both communities more diverse, when it comes to beliefs, their sub-religions differ as well apart from their main religions, Christianity and Muslim, respectively. For Christians, they have sub-religions such as, Roman Catholic, Protestant, East Orthodox churches, and many more. On the other hand, some Muslims follow Sunni Islam, Shia Islam, or Sufi Islam. Both religious followers have a very diverse community because of the various sub-religions as aforementioned. And along with these many sub-religions, there are also a lot of customs that are followed. Muslims show their faith and worship through the five pillars of Islam. The first pillar is testimony which involves a creed to be recited under oath. This creed is about worshipping Allah alone and no other god or being. The second pillar is prayer. Muslims call their prayer Salat or Salah. Salat should be done five times a day. The third pillar is fasting or song which usually happens in the month of Ramadhan. In this particular month, Muslims fast from food and drink, and it is usually done from dawn up until dusk. The fourth pillar would be almsgiving or zakat. Almsgiving is considered as a religious obligation as they believe that their wealth is trust from Allah's bounty. The fifth pillar is pilgrimage or hajj. In this particular pillar, Muslims are encouraged to go on a pilgrimage to the city of Mecca. As for Christians, they follow several creeds that profess their faith to God. They also follow the seven holy sacraments. These sacraments would include, Baptism, Eucharist, Confirmation, Holy Orders, Confession, Anointing of the Sick, and matrimony. Although Christians also pray, they still have a difference when it comes to the set of prayers. Christians and Muslims have a different supreme being and place of worship. Christians and Muslims differ in their savior or prophet and preacher. Christians and Muslims differ in symbols and scriptures. Christians and Muslims differ in their sub-religions. Christians and Muslims differ in their customs.